While many Barbadians stood in the streets to watch or participate in the Grand Kadumut Parade, one family stuck close to home. That's because they had their own festive occasion to celebrate the 100th birthday of Eunice Golda Phillips. Lorna Jones has more. It's a special day for this community in Glebland, St. George. One of their well-known members is now Barbados' newest centenarian. Eunice Phillips, better known as Golda, spent her morning with family, friends, and well-wishers, including Governor General Dame Sandra Mason, MP for St. George North Glenn Clark, and Rector of the St. George Parish Church, Reverend John Rogers. Like many on the road for Grand Kadumit, Ms. Phillips has a love for dancing. The band was four years. They had a man from St. Philip come and marry to a neighbor of mine, and they would say, come over and play. And they would put me in the center, there's a bum girl in the link, and I dancing. She had this advice for those hoping to reach her age. You go to church every Sunday, you get confirmed, you take commune, and um, what else, Father? Let's follow the Bible as you told them. To. Yes, read the Bible every morning. Ms. Phillips also recommends staying away from alcohol. I never drink rum and all those kind of things, so I never. I taste it, but I said, for me, I'm drinking no rum, none, and so. Not me. And when it comes to her diet, the centenarian favors a traditional Bajan dish. Cuckoo, man. I used to cook the cuckoo. <laughs> and I teach people to cook cuckoo. Cuckoo, man. And with really anything. Hmm? How do you prepare your cuckoo? You know, I prepare cuckoo. Ms. Phillips is a former teacher and worker at the British American Tobacco Company. Lorna Jones, CBC News.